And I'm here with Tim from Commvault at RSA on Tuesday. Tim, how are you? Good, it's good to be here with you, Evan. It's an exciting week, so much going on. Uh, for those few people who don't know who Commvault is, maybe give us a, a bit of a snapshot. You bet. So Commvault is a leader in data protection and cyber resilience. We have a platform that's dedicated to helping people remain resilient through cyber attacks. Such an important topic, and you, you've been talking a lot about the four R's this week. Uh, refresh my le recollection, what are the four R's and why are they fundamental to cyber recovery planning? Yeah, so the four R's, as we, as we call them, it, it stands for risk, readiness, recovery, and rebuild. And ultimately, as we help our customers, as they build out their resilience strategies, uh, it's complex and it's a sophisticated landscape. Uh, there's, they have cyber security tools, they have recovery and cyber security practices, so there's a lot for them to really figure out how to navigate. Those four R's help us highlight um, kind of where we fit and especially alongside their other key practices and integration points. So helping them understand their risk, helping them figure out how to make sure they're ready to recover in a cyber incident, helping them actually recover and then rebuild their environments. Wow, there's a lot to unpack. Let's talk about risk management. What are some of your best practices for identifying and managing risks? when it comes to the broad you know, landscape of their data. Yeah, it's a, it, it's, a, it's, it's a great place to start because you really, it's hard to protect your data and understand how to recover if you don't understand where is your data, what kind of data you have, what, where is your riskiest data or your riskiest exposure. So we have a set of capabilities that organizations use to understand and answer those questions. We'll look across, one of the things that we do that's unique in our space is we'll look across uh, not just your backup and recovery data, but we look across live data. So this allows customers to get a sense of what kind of data do they have out there, um, is it, and is it categorized and protected appropriately? Do they have PII, customer, patient, uh, you know, any sort of, um, you know, uh, thir um, sorry, first party, uh, maybe intellectual yeah. property, do they have that in locations that they're unaware of or aren't being protected sufficiently? So we give them a snapshot of that, and it's a great place to start because it allows them to then take action on that and, uh, and then continuously monitor that they're compliant with their practices. Such important insights. Um, additional our readiness, I guess no one's really ready for an event, but what goes into a you know, best practices for a data protection plan and you know, how do you help them get those in place? There's, there's a couple things that fit into our readiness category. The first is another thing that we do that's unique, so no, no other vendors in our space provide, is we'll give you early warning of suspicious activities and attacks. So we have a set of cyber deception uh, capabilities oh, wow. that allows you to say, hey, if you're, if you're backing up and, you're, and these are your critical crown jewels, we can help you mimic crown jewel data and then put, place these decoys in your environments. And so you'll get these early warnings so that you are ready and can react faster if there is then any sort of bad actor traversing through your network. So that's kind of the first part. The second part around readiness is what we find is a lot of our customers have a massive gap between their plans, their cyber recovery plans, and then their actual ability to execute on those plans. They might do checklists, uh, reviews once a year, they might do some sort of simulation or tabletop exercise, but very few organizations are actually doing full cyber recoveries, and so it's really risky. So what we, and, and they, they don't do that because it's just super expensive and super yeah. complex. Yep. We have some unique technology that make it extremely easy and dr dramatically lower the cost, so now people can test quarterly, you know, if, even, even monthly if they want, full recoveries of their most critical data and wow. applications. And so they're not scurrying at go time when an incident actually happens. They've already practiced all of these critical recovery techniques and processes and hit all the road bumps that they will otherwise encounter when they're actually going through the recovery during a cyber incident. So, uh, so essential. Um, for us tech geeks, maybe talk a little bit about the investment in R&D you make around recovery technologies, the underlying infrastructure for data recovery. What's your sort of secret sauce as that's concerned? Our, our secret sauce is actually something that I think we just made a really uh, good decision years ago. 
architecturally. And the secret sauce is we have what we call any-to-any -any portability. And this architectural decision, it's separated kind of our logic or kind of our, our brain or control plane, if you will, from the data layer and the indexing layer. And so what? So you know, what does that mean? It means we could protect any data in any location and recover it from anywhere to anywhere. And so for our customers, we, we work with the largest enterprises, the largest government institutions, the largest you know, um, firms on the planet. And so they have a sophisticated, complex, and hybrid estate. Having one offering that could look across their entire estate and protect any of it, no matter where it lives today and where it lives tomorrow, allows us to help customers not only protect their full estate, but even genera generationally. If they're, they're moving from, let's say, virtualized workloads to containerized ones, that's a snap for us. It's just part and parcel with what we do in that secret sauce that, that helps us support any of this and build new innovation that's unique in the industry on top of it is this any-to-any -any portability that only Commvault offers. Fantastic to see. Um, talk about rebuilding after a breach. Um, what are those first minutes, hours, days, uh, hopefully not weeks, look like? And how do you sort of assist them in this very scary and, and delicate process? Yeah, one of the things that, so traditionally, our, our space in, in, in Commvault Followed Suit is, we are fantastic at helping protect and uh, restore data. Now, what we started to realize is, if you look at a typical downtime caused from a cyber incident, depending on whose research you read, it's about 24 days. Usually the data recovery piece of that, before Commvault, might be a third of that time. So let's say wow. eight, eight-ish days or so. So historically, we've been focused on minimizing that to the smallest possible amount of time. You know, ideally moments, not mm. you know, hours or, or days. But that leaves a whole other set of days that is typical uh, for an organization that they, where they have to recover. A lot of this has nothing to do with data recovery. It has to do with rebuilding your production systems. And this is building the applications that use the data, the API layer that uses the data, the infrastructure to run it all, your security groups, your network settings, DNS, a whole set of stuff that actually has nothing to do with data protection. We think it's important to also help our customers accelerate that portion of the practice as well. So recently we acquired a company called Apranix and they've been fantastic at that. So we've added that to our portfolio so it's not just helping rapidly recover your data in a cyber incident, but then it's drastically reducing the time it takes to rebuild all of those environment components and variables to make that data useful. Wow, so, so important. So clean room recovery is making such a splash here at RSAC. Uh, as a marketeer, uh, uh, you, you must be excited about the branding and the, it's a blast, and the approach. Yeah. It's really fun and interesting and, and insightful. Were, were, you, were you and your team the brainchild behind this big idea of clean room recovery? You know, it's fun to see the innovation coming out uh, from our team here, uh, you know, especially hitting our customers and really making an impact with them. But it, I do get a kick out of seeing it come to life at an event like RSA. And, and yeah, clean room recovery solves a, frankly, a, a long-standing problem in a unique way, which is how, um, in, a, in a recovery scenario, or especially in a cyber recovery scenario in particular, you can't trust the data. And so that's very different than a disaster recovery scenario where you're just trying to quickly get back up online, but you, you trust the data. In a case of a cyber event, you can no longer trust the data. And it's not just the data that you can't trust. A lot of firmware, hardware can also be infected. And so what we added to our, our cyber recovery is not just recovering clean data. We've assumed that that's a given, but you're recovering it to a clean location mm. in the cloud, a location that didn't, didn't exist before. And so you can ensure that it's clean. And here we use, uh, you know, rely, we rely on this any to any belief that we have. So we can help people recover from other clouds or even on-prem into this clean room in the cloud. It really unlocks a few key use cases. I think an obvious one is help people get up and, up and running faster after an attack, which that's surely the case. But a couple of the other really cool things that our customers have uh, been, I think, found exciting to use it for is um, testing. A lot of people don't test, as I had mentioned before. Mm. And then another one is forensics, is to be able to recover into an environment that is quarantined, isolated, 
uh, didn't exist before so you know that it's secure and clean and do that rapidly so that you could test for forensics or, or, or go through a kind of a forensics or as part of an incident response process, that's been another really fruitful use case for them as well. Well, so much innovation. Your work is much needed in this industry and uh, congrats on Thank the you. launch of Clean Room for Cyber Recovery and uh, have a great RSAC. Thanks, it's good to talk to you. Evan. Likewise, thanks, thanks so much.